Congratulations, you just took the next big step in your cryptocurrency evolution. You've decided to move your ADA off of an exchange onto your very own wallet. Your keys, your coins. Well done. Today we're going to help you get set up with your ADA Lite wallet. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief knowing that your coins are no longer at risk of being hacked on an exchange and instead are securely under only your control. Then from there, all you need to do is pick your favorite stake pool, delegate to them, and sit back and relax and watch your ADA generate staking interest for you risk-free. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information that you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today we're going to take a look at the ADA Lite wallet. We're going to find out where to get the wallet, how to fund it with the ADA you purchased on an exchange, and then how to use that ADA to delegate to your favorite stake pool risk-free. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, so here we are at adalite.io. As we always say in all of our videos, when you're actually going to a URL, a specific URL, to do something with your cryptocurrency, we highly encourage you to always manually type it in, not Google search it, not click on any links, um, and actually, this is exactly why, right? There are several uh, phishing attempts out there and a lot of people that are trying to find ways to steal your coins, steal your private keys, or your mnemonic phrase with your 24 word or 15 word passphrase. So just be safe always whenever you're going to any URL, make sure you type it in manually. Here we're going to adalite.io. So uh, we're here to set up our adalite wallet. Um, here they give you just some warnings about don't lose, lose your mnemonic, the, the 24 or, 4 or 15 word passphrase, how to protect it, a couple things to watch out for. And here, as, as we've talked about before, consider using a hardware wallet. It is the safest way to go. So let's go ahead and continue. So here we are on the website. So Adalite is uh, another UI that you can use to manage your Cardano funds. Um, it's not even a, a browser extension like Euroi is. It's just a, a website you can go to that can interface um, with the Cardano network. So what I would say is, whereas it does support uh, typing in your mnemonic for your 12, 15, 24, or 27 word phrase, uh, for those of you that have either made uh, or heard about uh, Daedalus Wallet, we have a video on that, or uh, your Roy Wallet, we have a video on that as well. If you don't yet have a hardware wallet, you can use those and they generate these phrases for you. And then you can have a true uh, all-encompassed in Daedalus or all-encompassed in your Roy wallets. What I would say, my recommendation is, if you do not yet have a hardware wallet and you're choosing to go the route where the, the phrases are provided to you and you're doing that in the meantime until you get your hardware wallet, if that's the route you want to go, I highly recommend that for that you use either Daedalus or Euroi. Adalite is a great website. It's a great tool to use. I personally would not be typing in my passphrase into a website even though uh, I think this is a, a great team and they're doing good stuff. So for the sake of this, in the other videos, we covered how to create those wallets on Daedalus and Euroi, and we'll link both of those. But for Adalite specifically, which I've used many times, by the way, I would say um, we're only going to look at the hardware wallet. It's the one that we're going to recommend um, for this. So we're going to click on hardware wallet. All right, so now we see here that Adalite supports both the Trezor and the Ledger, the Nano S and X. We have our Ledger Nano X. If you would like to get a Nano X and learn the process of how to set up your hardware wallet, we have a video on that as well, so go ahead and check that one out. Um, but let's go ahead and start with that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug it in, and let's say unlock with ledger. Uh, nothing is found because it's locked, so I'm going to type in my PIN. Now I'm going to select the Cardano app, and now it's waiting for, com uh, for commands from the, the wallet UI. We see that it's paired. I'm going to connect. It's going to ask me to confirm the export of my public keys. I'm going to confirm that. Okay, and so now we are in. Nice, clean interface here. There must be something going on here. Um, for those of you that might be developers in the audience, uh, like I always like to say, everyone has bugs, right? Uh, no judgment at all on that, for real. Um, so, um, cool. So here we are. Really clean interface, really clean way to, um, to access and manage your funds with your hardware wallet. Um, we see here that right now I have 11 ADA. We've made a few different videos, like I said, on, on Daedalus and Euroi, and so I was doing some transactions there. So that's how we have this here. But let's just take a look at what we have here. So for the account, uh, it'll give us an overview of what our balance is and what our re rewards balance is from staking. We can refresh it if we need to. 
Um, for sending, very straightforward, we put the address of anyone we want to send it to, how much we'd like to send them. We can donate to the Adalite team if we would like. Um, and then uh, on account, nope, sorry, where was I? Here we go, that's what I was looking for. So for receiving, if you want to receive uh, Ada through Adalite, the, the way that they do it here is uh, they, they post your addresses down here where it says my addresses. So for those of you uh, that are uh, looking to get your Ada off the exchange and you wanna move it to your hardware wallet, the way you're gonna do it is you come down to my addresses, you're gonna copy one of these addresses, okay? You're gonna to go to the exchange and you're gonna look for, uh, go to your ADA balance and it'll either say send or withdraw or something like that. You're gonna put in your address and then you're gonna send it to yourself uh, here on your wallet destination. One thing I'll say, as a general best practice, anytime you're sending or receiving cryptocurrency, you always want to make sure that you do a test transaction first to make sure that it goes as you expected it to, and then after, you'll go ahead and send the, the, remainder, the remainder of the balance that you're planning on sending. So for me, I'll consider this 11 ADA that I sent my initial test transaction. What I'll do is I'll send a, a little bit more ADA over so we can do our demonstration of staking, um, but I think you all should use this opportunity right now to do your test transaction uh, with your address from the exchange that you purchased your ADA from. So let's go ahead and do that. You do your test transaction, I will send a few more ADA myself, and then we'll meet back here. Okay, so hopefully uh, now your test transaction has gone through. We can see here we were at 11 before, and I just sent four more, so my transaction has successfully gone through as well. Um, great, so now if your test transaction went through, then you're good to go. You know that it's working, right? So um, I've already completed this set, but for you, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to go ahead and pause me here and send the remainder of your balance from your exchange to your wallet so we have everything all in one place. Okay, so uh, go ahead and put me on pause. I'll wait until your transaction goes through and then we'll continue on. Okay, so now you should have your full balance has, uh, transferred off of your exchange and it is now on your hardware wallet that we are managing through Adalite. Congratulations, this is a really big deal. You should be excited. You have now successfully taken your ADA off of the exchange and it is now on your wallet that you have full custody over and nobody else has access to it. Give yourself a pat in the back. This is a really big step. This is really, really cool. So now here we are, we've got our funds. All we have left to do is pick our favorite stake pool to delegate to. So we're gonna go to staking. Uh, one thing that I'll point out is that on the Daedalus and Euroi wallets, whereas, you know, because they're they're much more uh, fully built out clients, and this is just a very thin client on top of your wallet to provide a UI, they have uh, explorers where you can go through and in the wallets themselves, you can navigate the uh, different pools that are available and you can choose which one to delegate to. For Ada Lite, since again, it's just a very, very thin wrapper uh, to provide you a UI to work with, that is not yet built in. So if we want to uh, view pools, on Adalite, we're gonna to have to go to a website called Pool Tool. So we're gonna to go to pooltool.io. There's a few different ones, um, but the one that I recommend is Pool Tool. So we're gonna come here, and on Pool Tool is where we can look to see what stake pool we would like to delegate our stake to. So um, we can just pick any one for the sake of this exercise. Here's their, the pool ID, all right? So we're gonna select, uh, copy the pool ID. It auto copies it for us, okay? We're gonna click back over to Adalite. Um, also, notice that because uh, they, it, you know, they have this website, they also have staking pools, and so they autofill their stake uh, pool ID here. If you notice, they're already up to nine pools, so they're doing pretty well for themselves. Um, you just uh, cancel that out, and you paste in the pool that you would like to delegate to, and then it just pops up. You hit delegate. Uh, it gives you a confirmation to do, and then it just goes through. So that's uh, that's one way you can just pick a random one. The other thing you can do on Pool Tool is you can search for a specific pool. So one that maybe we want to search for, oh, sorry, this is Portfolio. Here we go, over here, is Aspen. That is our pool, the Aspen pool. Uh, and so I will say, uh, we try really hard to put out informative content for you guys to help you through your journey here uh, to be able to invest with confidence. Uh, and, and hopefully, if you guys enjoy the content and you would like to uh, also help us, we'd appreciate it if you would consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool. So you would just type in Aspen, copy this here, 
We come back over, you paste it in, and there's Aspen. So uh, if we were going to delegate, so now uh, let me look at these fees a little bit more and break them down. So the fee of two point and change, right? The first two is for the first time that this wallet uh, delegates to anywhere, and that's only a one-time thing. And then after that, any time that you are switching your delegation, it's just gonna be this fraction of an ADA. Right now it's 0 0.20. Many times I've seen it be about 0.18. So here, if I wanted to delegate to Aspen, I would just click Delegate. It's gonna give me the confirmation. Here's our ticker, the pool ID, the website. Here's the deposit, as I was mentioning. It gives you a little info here if you would like. The fee that you pay. And then you would confirm. Let's go ahead and confirm. Um, oh, I need to confirm it on my ledger to start a new transaction. It's going to confirm the transaction fee here. Let me show it to you guys. Confirming the transaction fee that I'm paying of the 0.2 ADA. And then it's going to go through. Oh, it also, since this is the first time we're doing it, it's registering our staking key and creating a staking key for us. Um, so remember, staking is risk-free for you as a delegator. What happens is you have your actual address of your wallet, and then you have your staking uh, key, which is totally separate. It's just a virtual pointer to say, hey, these funds are dedicated to that pool. So we're going through the registration right now. Let's see if it, before it goes away, I might be able to show you. There you go, register staking key. Give it a second here. It says waiting for ledger, but... Um, they're just they're they're working together. There's nothing for us to do right now. I guess there was. <laughs> Oops. It said register, not registering. My fault. Okay, so we're gonna delegate. Yeah, my fault. I had to confirm that. Okay. This time though, I really don't think we're waiting for the ledger. Oh no, there's our staking key. Confirm. Confirm. Sometimes, especially for these initial ones, you have to confirm several times because you're actually doing several different steps, right? You're confirming the transaction, you're confirming the creation of your staking key. Um, so there's a few uh, sort of back and forth things that are happening with the network under the hood. Okay, transaction submitted, syncing wallet, perfect. So now we're just doing a sync with the network. Um, there's a, a TTL that's sent with the transaction, a uh, time to live before it times out. So when it was sent out, now Ada Light is confirming with the wallet that the transaction went through, that it didn't expire, that everything was good. And once that is done, here we go. Reloading the wallet info, perfect. Perfect, okay, cool. So we see our available balance went down by a little bit, right? We paid the, the two for the registration and then that other change through it, right? But if we look now for staking, here we go. So our stake delegation is to Aspen. Here's the details on Aspen and, uh, and we're good to go. So, I mean, that's it, right? I mean, think about it. We, uh, we took our funds off the exchange. We sent it to our hardware wallet. We're managing the UI of doing that uh, through Adalite. Now we just picked our favorite pool and we delegated to it. And then we're all done, right? Um, so I guess I'll pause here and I'll say, um, if there's any uh, questions that you guys have or uh, anything that maybe was kind of confusing about this walkthrough, if there's additional topics that you'd like us to go through or have uh, other things you'd like us to, to see us break down or, uh, or do demonstrations of, please let us know in the comments. We'll be responding to every comment that's written. Um, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you can see our videos as they come out in real time. And again, if you enjoy the content that we do and you wanna support the channel, consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool, which we'll link in the description below. Thanks so much, and congratulations again. You're the one holding your coins now, and now you're just gonna watch the free staking rewards come in. I'm happy for you, congrats. See you next time.